Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Boys, we have been freed. We have been freed from the gulag. We won our gulag. I know that we posted a video overnight and I told you guys that we were probably going to get unbanned pretty soon. We have been freed and EA have sent me an email saying that we may, may have messed up. They said we might have messed up. So now I, I can access all the market stuff again. It's my second time this year. I hope it doesn't happen again, but we are officially free. So I just wanted to update you guys on YouTube kind of with what's going on with that. I want to say also to all of you guys that have been watching my videos, thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it, man. It's, it's incredible the support right now. We're going to keep the uploads rolling for you guys. March is always a really good time for my channel on YouTube. So I'm just going to keep it flowing for you guys, man. So thank you guys. Shout out to all of you guys. You guys are the best. Um, what we're going to be talking about today, a lot of things, a lot of things, boys. Um, first of all, we have um, a new SBC, which I do want to talk about. We've got some objectives, and then we're going to go over some stuff with the market. Not really fully with the market. Also, is going to be talking about just kind of stuff on this game and going forward. So we have Leroy Fur, which is a you know an SBC for Air Divisie teams. Now, this guy links to Kleber. Um, I'm not going to be doing a player review on this guy, but what I can tell you is that it is a decent card. It's a, too much for an 84 squad at the moment with the current prices of 84s because according to Flipman right now, uh, this card is 87k. So I think it's a little, I think it's a little bit of a stretch. But I'm gonna tell you guys this: I think with a player pick, uh, you know, rinse and all that stuff, this is a very obtainable card, and I would recommend getting it because I think with a plus two as an 87, the link to Claver, I think there's some variety with the squad building. I think this card could be pretty nice. That's what I want to point out. I think there's definitely some usability with this card. I like what he offers. I think there's definitely some potential with this guy. So I just wanted to say that. I think there's a real, real chance that this dude is pretty good in game. He has medium high work rates, three star skills, and a four star weak, but he has dives and a tackle straight, which is a very nice trait to have defensively. Um, and look, this card right now is already decent. Now it's an 85 in March, but he's got 93 strength, he's got 85 stamina, he's got 91 jumping, also with 90 aggression, he's got 84 stand tackling, 80 interceptions. The balance at 65 is not great, but the passing is really good at 90 and 89, and the shot power is good. But what I'm thinking is, look, this team that he plays for, I talked to some of my Dutch viewers today, and they have scored a lot of goals in the last five games. They've scored seven. He needs to score six and five games because he's a midfielder or an attacker. Um, and they, you know, one of the, the, the fans of this team said that they have an easy schedule. So I think I'm going to craft some of my 84s into this. I really think it's not a terrible look. Um, I, I don't think it's a horrible card. I think it's maybe, maybe an 83 would have been awesome for this card today. I think an 83, but, um, I think this card definitely needs the 87 to be very good. That's my take on it. And then also we got Wendell SBC yesterday, which I think is crazy overpriced for a left back for 220 K. It's just crazy overpriced. Uh, this one is an 83 and an 85. I think this one was horrendously overpriced guys. I really, really, really do. Um, but then if we go to the, uh, to the objectives tab, we have new milestones today, and I wanted to go over these with you guys. So we've got a new milestone set for the Airy Divisi. Um, now, the issue with these cards, man, and I'll say this, man. First of all, I'm going to just sit here and say I admit it. I, I messed up. I should have taken, for level 15, um, I should have taken uh, the center back because he links with all these players. I really did mess up. But the real issue with these players is that we had... You know, and, and the cool part is that EA is doing two sections for these squad foundations this year. That's a big win. I think that's a win. Um, I think we have to look at it that way and say that's really cool. But I think for me, I, I do have a bit of an issue. And the issue that I have is that the first set of players available are actually better than the second set. Gravenberch and Van Bergen, while they may be lower rated than the newer set, they're actually better players in game. Um, it You know, Gravenberch was meta. Van Bergen is still a meta sub. He's got five-star weak foot. Now, when we take a look at these cards... There's just, oh man, it's just, they're not good enough. They're not good enough. And I hate to be that guy to sit here and say that all the time. They're not good enough. Uh, this guy, you know, is a three-star, three-star player. He's a left-footed player, but he's got medium-high work rates. He's an attacker with medium-high. And this reminds me of Herman, the showdown the other day, with medium-high. I have no idea why EA is doing this sort of stuff. Why are we releasing attackers with medium-high work rates? It makes no sense to me. Um, it really doesn't. So that's the group reward. Um, and you know, the other players in here, you have Danilo, who's a medium low striker. And then, you know, that's something you can kind of deal with this year. But then the fact that he's three star, three star, it's just, oh my gosh, it's so much pain. It's pain. It's pain. It's not good enough. Um, 90 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, 90 finishing, 91 agility, 92 balance. But again, I think 73 reactions might kill this card. So while I understand that these cards are fun cards for squad building aspects, I think they're just not good. Uh, I really think they're not good. We've also got Max Rue, who just looks like a very generic left back. Um, he doesn't look like anything too crazy. And uh, in order to get these cards, 
Uh, you have to score 12 finesse goals in 11 games, and this is all in managerial masterpiece. You have to assist six goals with crosses. I mean, play 18 matches. Yes, look, it's a midweek grind. It's something you can do, but it's not good enough. These players are not good enough. They could have been better, um, and if they really want to force the Dutch narrative of like squad building and all that kind of stuff, I just think they have to do better. I really do. I think they have to do better there, guys. Um, I think that that is something that we've just got to do better at. So other than that, We've got a couple other things going on this week that are interesting to talk about. Now, number one, we've got a new team of the week tomorrow. This is the team of the week prediction. Uh, Goretzka's in there. Messi's in there. Pepe's in there. Mbappe's in there. I don't think Mbappe's going to get one because Mbappe's going out of packs tomorrow with his man of the match. I don't really see EA giving Mbappe another team of the week item. Bale is an interesting one. Um, Bale was actually at 190 yesterday. He, he went down to 170 today, but now he's back at 172, right? He was getting panicked yesterday, and a lot of the market is kind of down a little bit because of the mid of the prime pack. Uh, this will be interesting to see. I'm, I'm very interested to see Bale's price tomorrow because I do think Bale is a, is a card that a lot of people want to use. And for me, it's like definitely a card that I want to check out tomorrow. So that will be interesting to see what his price looks like tomorrow. Uh, I know for me that I'm very interested. I am personally very interested uh, to see Bale's, Bale's card tomorrow. I think for me, that's definitely one that, uh, that is interesting. I think it's definitely interesting. Um, other than that, you know, in terms of the, 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 the transfers, I just got this unlocked. So I'm back in action now. Um, I, I, this took, this took a long time. It is crazy to see this. And I, you know, I don't know if this is going to be a full throttle market video, but this is nuts. And this tells me that everybody in the world is doing player, this mid up mid or prime player pick this SBC, according to Footpin, is 1.3, 1.26 million coins on PlayStation and 1.12 on Xbox. And everybody is working to try to get this, but it's crazy to see on the market Old Black's 91 rated is 140K. Lewandowski's 91 rated is 140K. We have the most crazy prices for SBC fodder right now. It is mental. You just go ahead and you look at just the general 84, right? Let's go take a look at Jesus Navas on the market right now. Jesus Navas is 13K. I mean, any 84 you look at is 12 to 15K. Any 85 is 20 to 30K. Like, it's actually crazy right now, the prices of the, the fodder cards. So what I was talking about today on my stream is that something really good that you guys can do right now is that you guys can do the player picks. If you want to do that other player pick, you guys can do the player picks and 10 of them are 100K. So if you do 10 of these, right? Let's say you go through, you're doing player picks, yada, yada, yada. You're doing, you're buying non-rares and rares. You only need to put five rares in each one. All right, you go through, you know, you put them in the team. What these are going to do is that on average, you're going to actually make more coins back on tradable wise. Um, then you will buying the players off the market. So if you really want to do that mid or prime pick, make sure you guys are doing player picks first. Make sure you guys recycle into it because I'm telling you guys right now, your pack look is going to be better doing this. It is going to be better doing it this way. You're going to get better picks. I hit an O black today. I just hit an 87 Bruno, right? So when we go ahead on the market and we look at the price of 87 Bruno Fernandez, right? On the market right now, 87 Bruno is 59K. So this pick was 10K, which means if I'm doing nine more, the odds are that I'm going to make more coins that way. And then because the mid or, I, mid or prime player pick is so low in chemistry, you can easily, the way I see it, you can easily craft into that card. So I really think that that is something that I just really wanted to kind of point out because I think for me, it's like there, there's, definitely a, there's definitely something to be said there for the fact that like, I think that there, there's a way to do it a lot, a lot more efficient. So I'm actually going to try my best right now because I just packed this Bruno to go ahead and start this, uh, start this guy, this, this fur card, because I have Klaber. I think for like fun squad building aspects, there's something to be said. Um, I think that he's cool. You know, I think for me, the only thing that's really annoying right now is that EA still have not released Icon SPCs. We desperately need Icon SPCs. We're at the point now where it's like, yo, where are these things, man? Because what are EA doing, bro? I have no idea, but we're all sitting here waiting and EA is just not delivering. And, and it's tough to know, man. It's tough to know if they are really going to come. Um, I, I, I hope so, but I can't tell you guys with, with any sort of assurance or confidence that we're going to actually get Icon SBCs because it just feels like EA is waiting and waiting and waiting and they're just not delivering and we're not getting it. And that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. I think a lot of us are waiting for these Icon SBCs and we're really looking forward to them and we're just kind of not getting them. And that's it is really, really annoying. Um, and I and I can't tell you guys when they're gonna come. I have no idea. So here's the just hoping that at some point, you know, I kinda the last apparently there's like a Twitter going around right now. The last icon SBC that was actually properly released 
was 50 days ago. I don't know if you guys can believe that, but it was 50 days ago, boys, is the last time that we had a proper Icon SBC. Crazy, man. That's crazy to hear. It's crazy to think about. And that's so long ago. That's really, really a long time ago. And, and guys, to be honest, it's way too long. It's way too long. We all know that. It's way too long since the last time we got one of these things. Um, I think everybody is fully kind of aware of that. It's, it's out of hand. It's ridiculous. And I, I just hope that at some point we can get them because I think we deserve them. I think we all, I think we all have been waiting. You know, Icon SBCs, we're, at the t we're talking now where we're like, we're at the point where like a couple of years ago, we would have already had Prime Maldini, Primer 9, uh, Prime Hullet. These types of cards would have already been unlocked and, and brought out and people could have started crafting towards them. And I think it's just so interesting the way that they're doing it this year. EA is making everybody kind of throw their stuff into gambling. You, we even see it with foot swaps. Even with foot swaps, it's, it's obvious that EA are kind of making us kind of throw coins into gambling and you're not really sure what you're going to get. And you know, then you end up getting something that you really just didn't want. And it's just a mess. So we've unlocked, we've unlocked Leroy Fur. You know, obviously these cards with, you know, we got to root with these guys because they're going to get plus twos based on their upgrades. I'm now at the point where I've got a chance to unlock Muller. I don't even know if Tony Cruz is still available. I would assume he probably is. Maybe he was a five or six day SBC. No, he's still available. Uh, he's three squads for this flashback. Uh, he's 84, 85, 83, but I'm looking at it like, Hey, I have a, uh, I have a eight, I have a 91 O black. That's actually a duplicate right now. And, you know, maybe I go ahead and I start Rafinha, you know, he's a right mid. I don't, I do have team of the year Messi, So I don't see myself really ever using him. Uh, Wendell's a card that, I mean, look, Rafinha, I think Leeds will hit this. So I think he's going to go to an 89. It's just, does he have any crazy traits? Not really. And he only has the three star weak foot. So I'm not sure with Rafinha, if he's still going to be like anything that crazy, but I don't know, man. It's a weird one. I don't know if between him or Muller, you know, if, if, if Rafinha is better, it's a weird one. I know I have this O black and I definitely want to use this O black. This Muller is 86 and 84. So, I mean, I think the 86 is, is a lot. I think I love Muller and I, and I wanted a usable Muller, but I think the 86 for that car does seem like a lot. I would, I, I was kind of wishing that he was a little bit higher rated, um, like generally. So I may actually try to do this Rafinha assuming that I'm going to do some more player picks this week. And I have this O black, um, you know, I may try to do him because I think when the way I look at it and the way I see it is like, okay, if I'm doing more player picks this week, I'm going to get some things that have to go and recycle. This might be worthwhile doing like, this might not be the worst idea to do because he's a guy that is probably going to get the plus two. He's going to go to an 89 and look, is this Rafinha worth it from scratch guys? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. This card is not worth a do do from scratch. Um, I would be crazy to sit here and tell you that it was, but from a person that has all these duplicates and these untradeables, I can't play FIFA ultimate team. Okay. Like yesterday I couldn't play with a market ban. I can't play with unassigned players. Right. So I think it's not a bad idea to potentially go ahead and at least start working on it. Right. At least start the 86, at least get this one going. Because I think at the end of the day, it might be a nice car to get to an 89. Who knows? Right. I might be a coward for doing this SPC, but you got to put fodder somewhere. Uh, you got to craft it into something. And I think that's the way that I'm looking at it right now saying, okay, maybe we go ahead and, and we start this SBC. It might not be a bad idea to do that. So that's an 86 squad. I'm assuming I'm going to be able to, uh, I'm assuming I'm going to be able to probably actually save a little bit somewhere. So what I'm going to do right now is go to gold rare. I'll search for untradeables and we'll see what we have. So we really only have at this point, like 83s, but again, I think we could probably save some of this. We've got that Navas so we could probably save him a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll see like, hey, you know, can we save, can we save this 83 and put an 85 and we can, right? Can we save this 84 and put an 83 and we can. Okay, great. Can we save Bruno and put an 85 and we can. And look, that's probably it, right? 91, 89, 89. The rest are 83s and 85s. Let's go ahead and submit that. That one looks pretty good, right? So then we've got only an 85 and we've only got an 83 left for Rafinha. So we'll probably go ahead and complete those and we'll have a cheeky little Rafinha in the club, which isn't so bad. So thank you guys for watching the video today. That's really it. Hopefully we get Icon SPC soon. Hopefully some of the content gets better outside of this pick. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.